Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 6th of 2020, well, it is titled LDN 1471, a windblown star cavity. So what do we see here? Well, we see a star towards the center, or actually, more accurately, a protostar, which is a star in the process of formation. And stars, as they are forming, are relatively unstable and can actually push away a lot of material. They have very strong stellar winds, and we can see part of that here pushing off down towards the lower left in the great cavity shaped like a parabola being pushed off there. And we also see within the uh, Within that cavity, and also on the other side of the star, we see Herbig Aro objects, which are bright knots of material. Not stars, but areas where the material is interacting with the interstellar medium, releasing energy and causing it to brighten. So we can see those on both sides which really tells us that this is more symmetrical. We wouldn't expect that the star would just put material out in one direction. We would expect that there would be two, so there would be a cavity on the other side as well. So why isn't it visible? Well, there is more dust on one side, up to the right, and it's hidden. Also, we also we have to consider what direction is this being expelled. It looks like it's being expelled perpendicular to our line of sight. However, that's all we can see. So it could actually be angled somewhat towards us on one side. So this one could be coming towards us, say, at a 30 or 40 degree angle. And the other one could be heading away from us, meaning that it's hidden back behind that dust. And the dust can be sufficient to block out all of that light from material behind it. So in addition to not really knowing distances very well or being able to compare distances on an astronomical photo, we also don't necessarily know the angles. So this part of it that we're looking at could be coming towards us and realize also that it would be shaped more like a cone. It would be three-dimensional. It's not just putting it out in the shape that we see here. We're seeing the projection of the shape that is being put out projected onto a two-dimensional sky. So where that's what we're seeing here, we don't we can't see the exact shape as it would be three dimensional. So a photograph of the sky like this does lose some information. We don't know at what angle uh, this parabola is actually pointed, whether it's pointed slightly away from us, slightly towards us, or directly across our line of sight. And we also don't know the relative distances of the objects in this. Just by looking at them, we can get ideas of, I guess we say we should get the relative distances, but we don't know the exact distances. Everything looks like they're the same on the same flat picture. However, some of these objects are much closer and some are much further behind. There may be other stars in this image that are closer. And if you look around, you can actually note a couple of galaxies, which would be much, much further away and just happen to be in the same general direction in the sky as this uh, cavity. So that was our picture of the day for May the 6th of 2020. It was titled LDN 1471, A Windblown Star Cavity. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.